What is up everybody? So this is our eight question series on word problems. These are eight questions you absolutely must know for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. Let's get into it. So being able to deal with data analysis is really important for the SAT, PSAT, and ACT. This question gives us a chart and it says model cost and load tension. And we have our pressure control spring, our pressure relief spring. It tells us the cost and the load tension. Now let's take a look at what the question's asking us about this table. It says the table shows the cost and load tension of several models of springs. What is the ratio of the cost in cents per pound of load tension of a pressure control spring to a pressure relief spring? All right. So the toughest part about this question is understanding what the question's asking. So let's go back to it. It's asking for a ratio, so we know it's going to be a ratio, in cost per pound of load tension. Cost per pound of load tension of what? The pressure control spring to a pressure relief spring. So here's what we need to do. We need to figure out the cost per pound for each of these. So let's start and do it for the pressure control spring. So here's what we know. The cost for the pressure control spring is 48 cents. How much load does it hold? What's the cost per pound? So keep that in mind, cost per pound. What does that mean? You're gonna have cost over pounds. So here that would be 48 cents over 12, which gives us what? Four cents. So we know the cost per pound for the pressure control spring is four cents. Now let's do it for the pressure relief spring. For this one, it's what? 56 cents is the cost per pound, which is 28 pounds. So 56 cents over 28 gives us what? 0 0.02, two cents. So now what is the question asking us? It's asking for the ratio of the cost per pound of the pressure control to the pressure relief spring. So what do we know? It's four cents over two cents, which simplifies to just what? And think of it, if it's just four cents over two cents, you don't even have to worry about the decimals because it's gonna come out to the same thing. It's literally just four over two, which comes out to be two. Answer choice D. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> Here we go. And I like yeah. love it. I think yeah. that's the one.